Coach, your team is entering this week's UMAC tournament as the number one seed, and the regular season is in the books, and you're kind of entering a new season with a tournament. Does the thought of a UMAC tournament loss potentially ending your year uh, make your team play a different way or style? Uh, well, I don't think we want to think about losing too much because I think then sometimes you come out and you play like you're afraid to lose or you just don't want to lose. I think we need to come out with an aggressive mindset of preparing for postseason and preparing for this match and winning this match ahead of us and then being able to take some momentum into the second match and just playing really well and playing aggressively and attacking the ball smart. You just faced your first round opponent, Minnesota Morris, last Friday in the yeah. Erickson Center. What one thing must absolutely improve for your t for your team to repeat with a victory this Wednesday night? Yeah, we I think we all know that we have to limit our errors. We had more errors than Morris had kills on Friday night, and it's the, it was one of our worst hitting matches of the season, and so we have to do a lot better job cutting down our errors, and we hit into their block 14 times. So we've got to make some adjustments there to be able to play and to be able to win on Wednesday. You've seen Morris twice this season. Mm -hmm. What themes come out of this year's Cougars program on the court, and what are their tendencies? Yep. Morris is just a really, they do a lot of things really well. They're very hard to play against. They're a very well-coached team. Um, they always come in with a very good game plan against us. They do a lot of great things defensively in the front row and the back row. They're solid passers. They've got a lot of players at multiple positions who can put the ball down. Um, they're aggressive servers, so there's just a lot of things that they bring to the gym, and um, they're going to be tough to play on Wednesday for sure. Just over half of your starting lineup has UMAC tournament and NCAA tournament experience. While some of, several of your players don't, um, don't have that experience being new to your team this year, what uh, can your veterans take away from prior year's experience heading into this week, and what advice can those players pass on to your younger crew? Yeah, we just talked about that at practice last night, and the veterans spend a lot of time talking about how important it is to communicate on every single point and to know that it's a new season, that each team that's coming into the match, it's like they're starting over from scratch and that they can't take anything for granted and have to play every point to its best. Finally, how important is it for the fans to come out uh, to the Erickson Center on Wednesday and then in, on Saturday if your team were to win its first round match? Yeah, it's just huge for us to have home court advantage. We are 12-1 and one this year um, at home, and so we feel really good about getting to play the first round of the playoffs at home and hopefully win and play the second round at home. It's huge for us to have our fans. They add a lot of momentum and energy uh, to our team and to our court, and um, we want to be able to pull out both sides of the bleachers, so we want to pack the gym for sure on Wednesday and Saturday.